welcome students today's topic is centrifugal uh, casting do you guys ever wonder how the hollow tubes or pipes are making i am not talking about the non metallic i am talking about the metallic materials even though it is 1 meter 2 meter 10 meter or 20 meter how they are making without any connection that means seamless tubes how they are making with uniform thickness if you see in anywhere it, they have uniform thickness assume that if you have a 10 meter length pipe in the middle there is some internally if there is any geometrical disorder or mismatch has in happen how are you going to rectify that one okay it is very difficult right you cannot simply cut and rectify it then again going for joining process like welding and other things it's Im- impossible so how to make those things very perfectly in casting process that we will see come so that can be manufactured by centrifugal casting as you can see i highlighted the uh, yellow color points sewage pipes gas pipes water supply pipes etc etc street lamp post also hollow section that can also easily manufactured by centrifugal casting here we are going to use the force centrifugal previously in die casting process we are using pressure force but here we are using centrifugal force so when you guys are seeing the cycle and other things you know the concept of centrifugal right so similarly come we are going for uh, centrifugal very quickly so uh, you have to uh, use the ma- ladle to pour the molten metal pouring pouring spot after that it will be delivered here and you can see the mold hollow section right it's uniform hollow section is available it will be rotated it will be attached to the external motor then it will be rotated it's depend upon the material what we are using the thickness also going to be produced depend upon it okay so within the fraction of second before it going to solidify we have to rotate and we have to make the uniform thickness layer right so how we are doing let go to one more uh, detail diagram we are having electrical motor which is coupled with the disc and the disc is coupled with the mold right here we are using one bearing for giving the support so depending upon the material and thickness we are using we can control the motor speed if motor speed is very less we can get thicker section if motor speed is high we can use thinner section we can get thinner section as you can see molten metal is delivered over here if you want we can make uh, linearly adjustment also right or this may be get in and get out depending upon the application right so here you can see the clear cut diagram and mold first one is the mold rotating and uh, things and liquid materials filled over here and it is sealed so there is a chance of uh, molten metal sticking with the mold in order to uh, make some lubricants between these two while removing we can go for some lubricants graphite or some metallic powders you can use or some lubricant oils also if you want you can use so how it's uh, getting so due to rotational force centrifugal force and and we are we are putting one drop of material over here it is always going and touching all the surfaces slowly if you are giving more material more the thicker it will be up here you can see the rotational this uh, direction is available here here right so then there is an uh, one more possibilities and that is good for us it's a mold and rotating direction and i have mentioned two spots one small star over here and another one more possibilities are here you can see it is always going towards this direction if you see impurities because we are taking the material from the another uh, area by using ladle we are taking on the way if any impurity was attached or if it scale is formed in the liquid material it will be uh, placed over here and the denser region high density pure material will be surrounded in the surface of the mold so low impurities are available here so before it going to market it is possible to remove this thing by using machining or laser cutting or etc then we can remove the perfect material will be going for the market so this will be the answer uh, the question which i asked in the beginning uh, it's student you have a clear cut idea so previously what we seen everything is horizontal now we can go for vertical so vertically it is possible yes it is possible most of the time what is the restriction you seen here everything is axisymmetric component okay asymmetric components we cannot go for it so axis symmetric component only we can go whether it is hollow or thin section anything we can do as you can see it's uh, vertically rotating and this is a pattern molten metal we are using casting also we have made and you can see axial rotation will be like this okay some forces will be going through outside only not the inside 
right so thanks for watching